Howdy, howdy, howdy. It's Paul Catalina's Top 5, brought to you by Texas Beef House. Don't forget, when you go to texasbeefhouse.com, use our promo code SICKEM10 for 10% off your first order. Uh, and believe me, I believe that order is probably going to be pretty big. They have great stuff uh, there at texasbeefhouse.com. Top five players on the College Football Hall of Fame ballot who should go in now. Look, there's some obvious choices. Out of the 77 uh, that are on the ballot, there's only going to be 12 people selected. So guys like Sean Taylor and Aaron Donald, they're probably going in. But these are some people who've kind of languished on the ballot for a couple years, and it's time to put them in. So they should be part of the 12 this year. Number five, and I realize this is a lot of bias, but he's been on for way too long. Maybe one of the best college football players of his entire generation, Peter Work, dominant at FSU. Absolutely dominant, helped lead them to the 1999 championship game, had that fantastic catch that sealed the win for them uh, in New Orleans at the Sugar Bowl. Would have probably won the Heisman Trophy if not for a two-game suspension for the Dillard's incident in 1999. Instead, that went to Ron Dane. But Peter Work certainly deserves to be on this list. And before you call me a homer, I did not include Sebastian Janikowski, although that's coming. Number four, DJ Dozier from Penn State, a two-sport star in Major League Baseball and the NFL, as you may remember, uh, played baseball a little bit longer, but really, really good athlete and helped Penn State win a national championship, and it's been a long time since that happened in that 12-0 season that Penn State had. He was the driving force behind it, just knocked through people, and look at that old-school face mask, the bar right here. My God, I love it. Put this dude in. Number three, one of the most exciting running backs I've ever seen in college football, Steve Slayton, was fun on the video game, was fun in real life, and they burned a lot of couches in Morgantown because of Steve Slayton touchdowns. He and Pat White were one of the most electric duos at quarterback and running back. You could possibly imagine they were super fun. The was he, touchdown waiting to happen there in that West Virginia offense. Steve Slayton absolutely should go in. Look at Rich Rodriguez. Uh, trying to contain his excitement to what's about to be a huge touchdown run against Louisville here in this picture. Number two, Antoine Randall L. at Indiana. Now, most of you remember him as a Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver, even through a touchdown in one of their Super Bowl wins, but he was an outstanding dual-threat quarterback at Indiana. And look, part of the great thing about the College Football Hall of Fame is not everybody has to be from Florida State and West Virginia and Penn State and Michigan and Ohio State and Notre Dame. Everybody's got a player who deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Indiana, an underrepresented school when it comes to football. And look, they don't have the best football history, but you got to make sure you get the guys in who are the players of a, a program. And Antoine Randall L., probably the greatest football player in the history of the University of Indiana. And uh, he absolutely deserves to be in. He was so much fun to watch and made Indiana football watchable for his years there. And number one, Kellen Moore, quarterback at Boise State. Why Kellen Moore? Well, look, I know that like people may not remember some things about him. I'll tell you the one reason he needs to be in and needs to be in right now. He's the all-time winningest quarterback in the history of FBS college football. All Kellen Moore did at Boise State was win. Highest winning percentage, most total wins, all of that belonged at least now or at some point, to Kellen Moore. He is the all-time winningest quarterback. Boise State did nothing but win. He and Jared Zabransky back-to-back helped put Boise State on the map as a team that you do not want to play. And the peak of Chris Peterson's time at Boise State came on the back of Kellen Moore and a lot of those other players. But Kellen Moore, now an NFL coach, as many of you know, uh, and, one, and a good one at that, uh, was the reason that Boise State exploded because he was such a damn good college quarterback and just one and one and one and one. Absolutely. And I had the unfortunate experience of watching his NFL career end in front of me at Cowboys training camp when he broke his leg. But he turned out to be a pretty damn good coach uh, and he's going to continue to do that throughout his career. Kellen Moore at Boise State absolutely deserves to be in the College Football Hall of Fame and right now. That's going to do it for the show today. Thanks to everybody who was a part of the show. Thanks to Jack, Garrett, Emery, 
all of them. Thanks to all of our guests. We're back again tomorrow with another episode. My friend Trey Elling, who's a big Longhorn guy, so Texas haters, get ready. Texas lovers also get ready. Trey Elling is going to co-host with me tomorrow. It should be fun. Don't forget about 365 Sports tonight. We're almost to 46,000 subscribers. Help get us there. If you're not subscribed, please like and subscribe and share this video at 365 Sports. We love you for doing it. Thanks and have a great night, everybody.